Bridget is back and down one nail. Let's go ahead and remove everything with my two-time coarse carbide safety bit. And here is what it looks like. See, it's not too teethy, but it gets the job done and I love it. So we're going to go ahead and take everything off. Well, everything meaning just the, the black. And then we're going to take them down just a little tiny bit. Not too much though. Okay. And with that, you're going to hold your drill perfectly straight and keep it on a medium to higher speed. After that, I'm going to go under her nail with my needle bit, my pointy bit, my under the nail cleaner bit, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to clean out anything that does not belong. Push her cuticles back, prep her natural nail area with my fine grit sanding band. And then we're going to get down and dirty. 100% acetone on my lint-free wipe. I'm going to cleanse, dehydrate, push her cuticles back even more because they go back easier when they're wet. We're also going to blend this tip because the acetone melts the plastic and that's how I bend the tip. We're going to get some fresh liquid and powder and we're going to go ahead and put on a two bead method using my number 12 finest from Philly Kolinsky brush. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it down to the free edge. We're going to create the whole body of the nail there, the structure, and then we're going to go back and we're going to seal in the cuticle with a smaller bit. I'm going to use a tight tip of my brush to make sure it is nice and flush to the cuticle. Flush means even too. Hi everybody. Let's get busy. She did show me an inspiration picture and I'm going to use lemon juice today. And here's the inspo pic. So beautiful. So what I'm going to do as what I always do when I'm using these bright neon colors is put down a base of white first and the other three nails I'm going to use a base of Mamita. I'm actually going to do two coats and yes no visit goes without pulling a Bridget okay I don't know why she can't keep her hands and fingers still in those lamps but she likes to blame it on me I don't know how I do it she thinks I magically shrink my whole self and just jump in the lamp and squeeze her damn fingers together. I don't know, but she always blames it on me because she never wants to hold herself accountable for ruining her polish. Actually, I take that back. She never even ruined her polish, so it's whatever. I'm going to use my dotting tool to create the center of this little flower. I'm going to use my number five art brush from Sendara Nails. We're going to get all the white in place and then we're going to go back and we're going to add the lemon juice to where it belongs. Okay. Okay. These little flowers are cute. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add one coat of the lemon juice to the white. The flower petals are going to stay white. We're going to do this in a line using my Sakura number two. And after a top coat, guys, here is the final look. They turned out adorable.